But first, a week after Kenya's deputy president, William Ruto, was declared president-elect, his beaten rival, Raila Odinga, has officially filed a Supreme Court challenge to election results. Despite calls for him to concede, he's accusing the Electoral Commission and Ruto of criminal subversion of the vote. Vivian Wandera has more. The former opposition leader officially filed the presidential petition barely an hour and a half before the deadline. Odinga was met by a huge crowd of his supporters who had been waiting for him since morning to show their support to him. In the petition, Odinga and his running mate Martha Karua are seeking for an audit of the election technology and the results announced. The former prime minister, who was also running for president for a fifth time, is alleging that results from 27 counties were neither verified nor tallied. These allegations come after the Azimio La Umoja party principal raised the allegation of rigging, voter bribery and vote tampering against his opponent, the deputy president, William Ruto. Both Karua and Odinga are seeking for the results of the presidential election to be nullified. The respondents now have four days to address the issues that have been raised in the petition. The Supreme Court has 14 days to listen to arguments from, from both parties and deliver a judgment by the 5th of September.